Good morning, everyone. I hope that you and those in your bubble are doing well. It's been a long haul, hasn't it? And now as we prepare as a country to move from level four to level three, we're recognizing that um, even some of the relaxation of restrictions are actually quite small and that the change, uh, at least for another several weeks, will not be significant. The first of these that um, I recorded, I focused on that verse from uh, St. Paul's letter to the Romans, uh, in all things we are more than conquerors. And of course it goes on in that, uh, in that letter, Paul goes on to say, uh, there is nothing in death or life, in the world as it is or the world as it shall be, there is nothing in all creation that can separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. I've been very aware over the last week of some very deep sadness and grief that people I know and care for have been experiencing. Grief made even harder by not being able to gather, to give thanks, uh, to commend to God, and to support each other, as we do. I think particularly of Keith and Elise Storey and their family, as they grieve their son Edward, who died uh, in Peru. I think of others, too, who uh, are facing uncertainty and challenge, uh, perhaps because of their own unwellness, uh, because of a diagnosis. I'm conscious of uh, people who have had loved ones died a long way away overseas uh, and not able to uh, travel to support family and to share in that grieving. It's a hard time and we can and need to reach out to one another and to offer what love and care and support that we can in the, through the means that we can. Loss is uh, deep and hard for all of us, whether we're people of faith or not. Uh, it's no less that we experience the pain of loss, uh, even uh, when we have a deep faith that says that uh, nothing can separate us from God's love and nothing can separate the one that we love from God's love. But we have to acknowledge uh, that the pain of separation, the pain of losing uh, someone that we love, uh, will and can impact on us very deeply and for a very long time. But our faith does remind us that there is an absolute continuity between this world and the eternity of God's love. This world is no waiting room for the kingdom of God. It's the construction site. It's the place where we're called to keep building with God towards that uh, community in which all people might flourish. Uh, where all people might find that they have a place, that they have a contribution to make, where they might know that they are loved and valued. Uh, because that's the nature of eternity. That's the nature of the unconditional love of God. And the fact that that love is so freely and unconditionally given is the source of our hope. The fact that we are given that choice, that freedom, uh, to respond to that love, to live in the light of that love, and to work with that love is in itself a reflection of that love. But for the moment, I want to just end by offering one of those prayers from our prayer book uh, that speak of God's love at a time of loss and grief and to pray the prayer uh, that um, offers someone we love back into God's care. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
a gentle Father, and the God of all consolation, who comforts us in all our sorrows, so that we can offer others in their sorrows the consolation that we ourselves have received from God. God, our comforter, you are a refuge and a strength for us, a close, a helper close at hand in times of distress. Help us so to hear the words of our faith, that our fear is dispelled, our loneliness eased, and our hope reawakened. May your Holy Spirit lift us above our natural sorrow, to the peace and light of your constant love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And if you are experiencing a deep sense of loss at this moment, know that there are people who pray for you and with you. May you know the peace of God, and may the one that you love rest in that peace and in that love. May they rest in peace and rise in glory.